the Goshen College baseball team opened their conference season at home versus Taylor University in a three-game series. In game one on Friday, the Maple Leafs fell in defeat, but on Saturday it was a whole new ball club as the Maple Leafs won both games at the doubleheader. Assistant coach Doug Wellenreiter talked about the difference of the two days. Well, first of all, it starts with pitching on the mound. Our pitching on Saturday was very good. It starts with pitching, and uh, that's one of our strengths. It should be one of our strengths, and that's where it starts. Uh, Braden Devins threw six good innings uh, for us. Um, Colton pitched well in the second game uh, on Saturday. So that's where it starts. Then we also had some key hits. We had some key two-out hits, uh, two-out hitting situations, and we banged out, I think, 23 hits, uh, which is something that was great to see. We hit up and down the lineup, and that's got to be a strength for us, too, if we're going to compete and stay at the top of the Crossroads League. Senior Braden Evans adds input about making big plays at the right time. Um, so the difference between that I could see was 100% uh, throwing some strikes from the pitcher's standpoint and uh, being able to actually get bats on the balls in key spots and have that big inning that on Saturday that we couldn't get on Friday. Evans also talks about how strength of schedule has built a resilient team. Uh, resilience is definitely a lot stronger on this team. I feel like we've played a lot, uh, a lot better competition in preseason and things like that, and that kind of just got us ready to face the teams in the Crossroads League and just dominate, hopefully. Both Evans and Willenreiter address how the spring break trip teed off the Maple Leafs in the right direction. Uh, this year, especially, we've faced a lot of uh, adversity in the teams we've played, and we've had to face adversity ourselves. And uh, spring break was a completely humbling experience, losing a lot of games over that time. So I think it kind of just got us ready to bounce back from Friday to Saturday and just made us even more hungry for those games on Saturday. It's no secret we struggled on our spring trip. We were very disappointed with our spring trip and the results of our spring trip. Uh, you know, people want to use the excuse, well, you haven't been outside but a couple times. The other teams have played 15 games. But with the number of players that we have coming back uh, on a team this year, that's an excuse, and we don't accept excuses. And uh, we just simply didn't play well. And uh, I think that, you know, there was a meeting of the minds among some of our players and that, that uh, this has got to come together. And, uh, and I think that uh, happens. And obviously, winning always builds confidence when you win. Uh, you, lose, you learn lessons when you lose, but uh, uh, when you win, it tends to build a little bit more confidence, especially when you do it against a good team like Taylor. The Maple Leafs are currently 7-1 in the regular season, but are 2-1 in the Crossroads League, which is second in the standings. The next game for the Maple Leafs will be at home versus Huntington University. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton.